Hey, it's Steve with Prima Coffee here. Today we're taking a look at Pullman's Chisel Distribution Tool. Um, now this is a tool which helps distribute, or probably groom is the better word, uh, the upper half to one third of your coffee puck prior to tamping. Um, now that's a, that's a really useful thing because a lot of grinders don't really deliver an even bed of grounds into the basket uh, such that when you do tamp it, it creates an even uniform density throughout the puck. So using a tool like this can help create a more even and uh, evenly dense uh, puck prior to tamping and after tamping, which will help get you more even extractions because the water is flowing evenly through all parts of that coffee puck. Um, now, this is an adjustable depth uh, distribution tool. So I have a couple of parts here. Basically, it's a, kind of a nut or a cap on the top, a sort of central collar piece, as well as the bottom piston. Um, very, very easy to adjust just by loosening that top, uh, twisting the piston uh, clockwise or counterclockwise to change the depth up or down, um, and then locking it back in place just by tightening that top nut. Um, the other nice feature here is that we have this collar, which is going to catch against the rim of the basket. So as you are setting the device in and turning it, it stays level with the basket rim. Uh, so that's going to give you also an even and level surface of the coffee to tamp. Um, so that's particularly important because we're focusing on distributing the coffee in an even and level fashion. Now the other interesting thing here is that uh, there are a few tools like this, but Pullman uses just this one sort of vertex um, uh, for their uh, distribution. And that's because they want to distribute more coffee sort of outward. So as you spin this, these sort of slopes are going to push the coffee sideways. Um, it will compress the coffee uh, just a little bit, you know, like vertically in the basket. So there's a sort of tamping action. Um, but they're also moving quite a bit of coffee out towards the edge of the, of the basket, which is great because a lot of grinders produce sort of a cone or, or mountain shaped um, mound of coffee in the basket. So pushing that coffee from the center outward is going to help give you a more even and uh, evenly dense uh, coffee bed. Uh, again, which is the goal of using one of these distribution tools. Um, so I'm gonna show you how it works. Uh, I'm gonna grind a little bit of coffee. Uh, so again, I have this sort of mound here that I'm looking at. I'm gonna tap to settle it just a little bit. Um, I haven't set the depth for this just yet, but I have it set basically at a point where I, it'll do a little bit of work and hopefully won't compress it too much. Um, so really all I have to do is set it on top and give it a quick little spin. Just maybe three or four revolutions is fine. And now you see I have a nice even uh, and flat surface, which I will then tamp uh, using whatever tamper I like. Um, so again, that gives us an evenly dense puck. It's going to move some of that coffee from the center of the mound out towards the edge of the basket, which is going to give us a nice even density of a puck. Uh, again, because as water flows through that coffee, it's gonna find the path of least resistance. So if there are pockets of uh, sort of less dense puck, it's going to favor those and extract less out of whatever is more dense. Um, so you're gonna get better extractions with something like this. Um, I didn't really have to do anything in, in terms of adjusting my depth too much. I was actually um, pretty on point for that dose. Um, but again, very, very easy to set and just sort of forget. Um, there's not a lot of precision needed for setting the depth with something like this. You wanna make sure that you're not tamping too much. You do wanna make sure that this collar is hitting the rim of the basket so you get that even uh, level as you spin. But you are tamping afterwards as well, so it's kind of up to preference in terms of how deep you want to set it, how much you actually want to affect the coffee, um, and really, you know, kind of deal with uh, whatever you're being given by your grinder. Um, really fantastic tool, um, works with most baskets. Uh, it is a 58.4 millimeter diameter on the piston, so it may not fit some smaller 58 millimeter baskets, but most modern baskets such as VST or La Merzocco baskets um, will work just fine with this. So that is the Pullman chisel tool. Thanks for watching.